Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, this is a Pilgrim, and you probably know S Plus is due for another big update soon. And for the first time, we can go and test it out. So if we download it, you can go on your single player and have a, you know mess around with it. Um, I've been on the forums and had a lot of people are saying, and there's a few little issues here and there. Um, some of the things people are running into is just because you've got to like place things in a certain way um, and keep everything like really level when you do the triangle ceilings. But well, I can show you that later. Um, basically what, what we're going to get with this new update is triangle foundations which are great you can sort of mix them up with the square foundations and get some really interesting shape bases um triangle ceilings triangle roofs four times height walls uh i don't know how effective them walls are going to be i mean it's going to be easy to build like you know decent like surrounding walls and stuff like that but I'm wondering if it gets destroyed, the whole thing's gone. So you're losing like four sets of walls instead of just one, but probably won't be that great for PvP. Um, we're getting the stairs with the ramp variant, uh, double door frames with double doors, you know, to fit in them. And the good thing with them double door frames is you can get like horses and raptors, uh, a few of the smaller dinos um, inside for them. So you won't have to always use like dino gates all the time. And another good thing with them as well is when you put them down, you can use them to like hold up ceilings or whatever you you know want. Um, and it just saves you having to use like a full wall or a pillar to hold the ceilings up. And they just save on space as well, they look pretty cool. I already had S Plus installed on my single player, so I just picked out the new bits like the triangle ceilings and the roofs and stuff. Um, and just used them, you know, to make this base so you sort of give you an idea of what can be built when it comes out if you're not messing about on the beater but there's them double doors like I said you can get the um, Aquinas made, made like a little stables there and um, this is just like a little uh, crafting area and forges so I mean we can already build like hexagons and octagons and stuff on arc anyway but these triangles foundations just make it so much simpler and if you put them with square ones as well you can almost get like a, a decent sized circle um, down there I just put like a crafting area and stuff in this whole staircase here we're going up is built out of the triangle ceilings but if you're on like the outside of the um, hexagon you can put like a, a square ceiling down and then run a triangle one off that and when you run the ramp down it runs like just at a really nice angle right against the wall so it looks pretty good up but um, I'll show you how to build that in a minute after I've had a bit of a tour pretty much done now Yeah, you can see like all the different like stairways and things and that's when you can change the ramps just put some big windows in let a bit of light into the place it's like a little fortress again so i've been building quite a few of them lately you see the little triangle roofs there they look good it's just gonna bring like something a bit more interesting to play with to the game get some different base designs going should be better for PvP and the official servers. I mean, they've been stuck in limbo for years, haven't they? Right, I'll just show you how I did the base of that build. Um, show you that staircase and some other little bits and pieces. This spot here, 4562 um, on Ragnarok. I actually covered this spot on that video I did when I did the five best flat spots. So I just thought I'd come here and build. I 
that was just something I was testing out that staircase is inside there when I first started building it right get your triangle foundations and what I did was I built four so if you like counting the ones that are closest to you so that's four across there and then four across so it's like eight and did the whole um, octagon as eight long on each side or is it a hexagon one two three four five six it's a hexagon I got that completely wrong last time yeah so that's a hexagon because it's got six sides but uh, uh, each side is eight eight triangles long anyway one two and then an extra two there this is the base for the stairs and then two out there and one across or two across and then back to the start again so it's like two more two that way and then what's that one two three four along the top and just filled it in yeah so this section for the stairs is four across and then two on the sides and there i'll just put some stone fence foundations down every other bit so it's like the little hexagon in the centers there's two of them put pillars in and then raise the pillars so they're free high and then put walls in at the sides to snap the ceiling um the triangle ceilings to and yeah just put another wall, uh, floor in but i'll show you that that fence foundation did not want to snap kept falling through the gap there we go and then i just snapped the pillars to that Kept them all straight. Didn't bother with the middle. You see how I've done that there? And then just raise them by another two so they're all three high. Get some stone walls. Just went to them two corners there. Them in, then snap triangle ceilings in right the way across and then you want three flat ceilings um, on yeah try and get it on this side and you put one triangle one down and then a ramp then you need two walls there to snap another square ceilings and two more triangle ceilings and then the bottom floor here just another square one and you can snap another ramp there and it'll go straight down to it it's just dead even and it curves really nice you know to go around and it's just um a lot more simpler than like what we used to have to mess about with especially when they used to clip through walls and like never line up properly it was really annoying see like two triangles on the edge and then just run the stairs off them Yeah, I just thought that was a cool little design. Very symmetrical, nice and even everywhere. And then to sort of build it higher, just repeat it completely the same, except where you put your three flat ceilings down there, you just put them on the other side. So like where them three flat ceilings are, put them on here and then just run it back the other way, the staircase. Yeah, you'll need another platform there to like link it up to. But where you put that wall in, that's where you can snap your square one into this time. So you don't need like the extra two coming down. But yeah, it's just simple as that. And then I just kept um, raising it up higher and higher. And that was sort of the base of the tower and then I just built the rest of the, the little sort of castle section off that and used the triangle foundations we got down around the sides as like a, just a wall. 
So it's like a little enclosed fort. Right, this is what I was saying before about using the triangle ceilings and the square ones together. Um, what I did here, it looked like a bit of a uh, gazebo, I suppose. But what I wanted to do here was put these down and then show you the triangle ceilings and the slope ceilings. Um, you can sort of mimic whatever you do on the ground with the ceiling. And it makes like a pretty cool dome shape, especially if you're using uh, greenhouse glass. But you can see that going together now, so it's like the triangles and the squares and you just keep going around like that. You can sort of see all the different shapes and patterns you've got there. You can sort of split different parts of it off into different rooms or put pillars on certain sections um, where you've got like the diamond shapes and stuff. But what I'll do is um, I'll use these wooden ones and the stone squares just so you can sort of see how the shapes come together easier. So I went back on, on the game and did this when I, when I saw that last lot it wasn't too clear and instead of mess about with the different shapes you can do. Notice if you don't go any more than two square foundations away from any of the triangles, um, it doesn't matter pretty much what you do, you can always sort of connect it back up, you know, to any of the um, hexagons, if that makes sense. You sort of see what I mean. Well, that's a, quite a quite a good circle shape, that. You know, just using the the hexagon and the the six squares coming off it, and then putting the triangles in between. It's quite a, a smooth structure. But now I've done that, you can get a better idea of sort of how the patterns come together. You can see it, instead of just using all the stone. Looks pretty good that as well, you know, if you wanted to build some iron like in your base. Breaks the flooring up a bit. All I did here was just put some stone fence foundations down, and then stuck some pillars down. Um, I just did it on every time there's the square foundations. Um, it didn't really matter, to be honest, I was just wanted to show you the ceiling on this bit. did that all the way around thinking about 14 high I think a lot of triangle foundations there in the center you can snap the pillars straight to the middle and then at the top that one snapped okay and then made like the perfect X again and then these are the slope ceilings See, the trick is with S plus if you get one of the triangles down in one spot don't try and sort of snap the triangles to anything else so say that you've got um, a hexagon shaped wall snap this the the triangle ceiling off one wall and then snap all the triangles to that triangle don't try and snap them to the wall and that'll keep them all level and straight right the way around so like I'm doing here now I've run that wall up and then put the slope ceiling directly onto the wall and then the rest of these are snapping to it but then if you really wanted to enclose that whole area you better do in the roof first and then build the walls up to that section so everything's running off one triangle and it just keeps everything nice and level and
Right, I'm just going to go putting some of this greenhouse glass in. Now we've got the slope triangle roofs. I think it always looks good in um, in builds of greenhouse glass. It's just a pity it's so weak. That one animal can just wreck it. But um, the proper S Plus mod has got a, a glass section. And it's got like the same qualities as metal. So it's like tempered glass and big steel frames. So that'd be cool to see if they ever brought that into the game. You see there, just if you if you can catch a glimpse of the um, foundations at the bottom, you're literally just just mirroring the foundations in the roof. You get them sort of patterns and shapes. There's always slight gaps in the glass. Um, maybe that'll be sort of sorted out during the beta. They might make a few tweaks to it. You see there, you get quite a cool dome shape. Right, I just wanted to show you a couple of more like little things you can do with the slope ceilings. Um, if you like running a platform off from a building, you can use them to sort of go underneath the build and make it like it's attached to the side. So it's just got a bit of structure underneath, you know, so it doesn't look like it's just hanging over the side. I always like that sort of idea. It looks good as well. Plus something else you get with with S plus is um, the half triangle walls you know the ones you can use to put your, like your your roofs attach roofs to and stuff you can actually snap them upside down so you can have them hanging off so you can have them as like support for balconies and things like that and um, that'd be good to see if they ever bring that out this is one of the side walls from the fort because it's all built on the triangle foundations if you come to build any buildings off it or you want like a a straight ceiling a straight roof you can't use like the normal ones obviously so that's where the slope triangle ceilings come in pretty well come in, come in handy you just do them like in a straight row I built these little sort of buildings hanging off the side as like bit of barracks and stuff for, the, for your tribe if the man in the walls and then you can do the same underneath as well and just get that sort of slope look Again, like it's sort of supporting itself against the wall. These towers here are the ones at the side of the behemoth gates at the front. Um, I just wanted to build like a wooden sort of roof and like a bit of a balcony you know coming off around the side of it um, just again to show you like how the triangles go together and how the roof sections can be used when you come to snap them if you press R you can sort of see them moving up to different snap points and um, that's another way of keeping it really smooth all the way around make sure everything lines up properly so if you had like walls underneath them triangle ceilings and um, there's a few extra snap points for the walls so the triangles can be sort of you know slightly out and then you'll start getting gaps and stuff and i think that's mainly what people's problem is on the on the forums at the moment but it's simply due to getting everything in the right positions to start off with i was just using the door frames there like i said they make decent old posts to hold things up Get that to snap upside down again. And there we go. Just a few little ideas that have that have sort of come across while I've been playing with S Plus for the last few years. And that is basically using everything that's coming out with the patch. So we've got some idea of sort of the new designs and new shapes you can make things. But yeah, I think that all looks pretty cool, that. Yeah, so there you go. Gives you sort of an idea of what's coming out with the new patch. Um, hopefully it won't be too long and it'll come to console nice and quick as well. So that's it, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for liking and subscribing and all that. If you get a chance, check out the rest of the channel. 
I've got this whole thing recorded so I can make a bit of a how to build video if anyone's interested. Um, just leave us a comment and I'll, I'll see what the sort of response is. Right, thanks for watching guys. Um, hope that gives you some idea of what's going on with the new patch and I'll catch you later.